So I stumbled upon a TED Talk from Angela Duckworth, and I was immediately inspired. She is a teacher, psychologist, and she wanted to know what makes somebody successful. She tried to predict who will win the spelling bee, who are the top sales, and which cadet will stay in training. And it wasn't good looks, high SAT scores, or high IQ. It was grit. So Duckworth's definition of grit is a perseverance and passion for long-term goals. Grit is all about stamina. It is sticking to your goals days in and days out, even when the future is full with challenges. So a gritty individual can sustain this effort and interest over years despite adversity and failures. And then I thought to myself, if perseverance and passion are core values of nursing, can this be taught or fostered or is it a neat thing? Or is there any relationship to nursing? And then I began my research. However, there wasn't a lot in the nursing field regarding grits. However, I found some research in the medicine field. So I found two articles that was relevant. Um, one was about American emerged docs and one was about UK doctor. Uh, they both found that doctors who scored higher in the grid scale showed a lower sense of burnout. And one of the articles hypothesized that improving grits would help target and reduce early stages of burnout. And that's how I got my aha moment. Um, because I personally identify with humanism as it emphasized on the interpersonal relationships and the value of person in their learning process, I came up with this belief statement. I believe that grit can be fostered in an undergrad nursing student to potentially reduce burnout. My rationale for this belief statement is to focus on the learner and teacher relationship. If the students can make it this far, they must be kind of gritty. As educators, I believe we can foster their grit and hopefully the students will become grittier and able to take on more challenges and reduce early stages of burnout, which we know is a huge problem in nursing. I believe my next step is to figure out um, grit and nursing in real life. So I interviewed my clinical educator on my unit um, to explore what he thinks about my belief statements. Um, even though he doesn't work with undergrad nursing students, but he worked very closely with newly graduated nurses. So unfortunately, the educator did not really agree with my belief statement. Um, he raised two major concerns. One is that many clinical instructors may not be aware of grits, and therefore it's really hard to foster. Second, in his clinical experience, um, students are focused on developing clinical skills and critical thinking. So building grits may not be a priority. Overall, I would say the interview went well um, because we worked together, we we're familiar with each other. Um, it was interesting to hear the flaws in my belief statement. Um, it helped me think about another perspective and um, it made me realize what the gaps are and maybe that's why I have not been heavily focused or researched on. So after interviewing my clinical educator, the most logical next step would be looking into the current literature regarding grit and nursing and how it could affect burnout. Um, like I said before, there is limited evidence currently. Um, so to look further, like in psychology and education. So Angela Duckworth suggested two ways that we can potentially foster grit. One, educators have to encourage and value the student's work of stamina in addition to their intensity. And another way is to build grit through Carol Dweck's idea of growth mindset. Dweck suggested that when students learn that their brain can grow in the face of challenges, they will put in more effort and more likely to prevail because they believe that failure is not a permanent state. So someone with a growth mindset, uh, they thrive on challenges and sees failure as an opportunity for growth and stretching their existing abilities. Lastly, Seguin's research showed nursing leaders with a higher grit scores were associated with a reduced sense of burnout. And their studies also suggested the possibility of building grits, not only by um, promoting a growth mindset, but also identifying role models who can cultivate grit personally and through the environment. After the educator's interview and examining the current literature, I wonder if the clinical educator needs to recognize and value grits more. Grit can only be fostered when the educator is familiar with the concept. I am hopeful that this will gain traction in the nursing academia because of the correlation between high grit score and the reduced sense of burnout. 
Also, I liked Park and colleagues' research on how they reinforced the importance of learning environments and how it could impact the fostering of grit. It reminded me of Flaw and Linden study and how clinical settings can create meaningful clinical experiences for student nurses. I truly believe fostering grit is possible. There are many challenges as suggested by the educator interview and the limited research. For one, grit itself is hard to measure. The grit scale developed by Duckworth is widely used to measure grit, but a meta-analysis study has questioned its validity. Another challenge that I've identified is the language that we use. Grit and resilience are often used interchangeably. Resilience is defined as the ability to bounce back in the face of adversity. Um, a study has shown that they are different. Resilient nurses tend to bounce to other units in the face of adversity, but grittier nurses stay and persevere. I believe that to become a nurse, you must have passion and perseverance. The will to get up early in the morning every single day, power through a 12-hour shift, day in, day out, year after year, and to attend to all the crazy stuff, code whites, code blues, tend to a grieving family, and not be jaded after all, that takes grit. To foster grit, which can potentially reduce burnout, it starts with us, educators. We have to inspire growth mindsets. I took some excerpt from Doug Ward's book on grit. So when a student makes a mistake, we can say, this is hard. Don't feel bad if you can't do it yet. The yet is so powerful because it recognizes failure is not permanent as part of the process. As educators, we're also leaders. I believe that if we can foster grit through role modeling and promoting growth mindset, earlier in undergrad nursing students, we can ultimately reduce burnout as many studies have shown that individuals who are grittier experience less burnout.